What's up guys, in this video, I'm just gonna share with you everything I know about social media marketing and social media marketing agency side of things. And this is gonna be a raw video. I'm just gonna speak from, you know, what I know. Um, there's no, there's not gonna be any structure to this. I'm just gonna show you and tell you guys exactly what I know about social media marketing. And maybe you'll learn something from this where you'll go ahead and start your own social media marketing agency and start bringing in $10,000, $12,000 every single month, just like how we are in our agency. Let's jump into it. Those who don't know who I am, my name is Sook Baines, and I run a social media marketing agency here in Vancouver, BC. And on this channel, we help social media marketers like yourself make more money. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on for future videos on social media marketing. Social media marketing agency. So first of all, guys, you know, a social media marketing agency is basically someone that does social media marketing work. So online advertisements, organic posting, paid advertisements, all those things for businesses to bring them in, new customers, get them more exposure, whatever the goal is for that client. So if you are already in the social media marketing agency space or you're thinking about getting into the social media marketing space, then this video is for you because I'm, you know, I'm going to open the curtains and I'm going to share with you everything that I know and everything I have learned from the time I started my social media marketing agency till today where we literally just signed up, you know, we literally signed up $10,000 worth of clients in the last six weeks. Right, new niche, new industry, but the same experience we had for the past, you know, year and a half that I've been doing my agency work. And the reason we were able to generate, you know, ten thousand dollars worth of new clients, and that's monthly, right, is because of the experience. And I want to share some of those experiences here in this video with you guys. Look, I don't know how this video is gonna rank um, because it's gonna be raw. It's gonna be the truth. I'm not doing this for views. I'm doing this for you know getting all of my knowledge that I have to you. So let's jump into it. So the first thing is when you're starting your social media marketing agency, there's a reason why you're doing it. For most people, like for me, it was money, right? I wanted to make money while I'm sitting at my desk. And believe me, it is a good feeling, right? I don't care what other people say, it's hard, whatever the case is, yes, it's hard, but it still is a good feeling for me to sit here on my computer and get $2,000, $3,000 clients, and they're literally just paying me every single month for doing the social media marketing for them, right? I went to sleep at three o'clock yesterday, you know, building some systems out and doing all these things, but I didn't do that because I had to work. I just generally like the work that I do. I like building funnels. I like building landing pages. I like building advertisements. I like getting results for my clients. And you know, that's something that I like, right? So that's one big thing that you have to understand when you're starting your social media marketing agency. Yes, you wanna make money, but do you enjoy the work? Do you enjoy sitting on a computer? You know, you, do you enjoy all those things? Because you're going to have to sit on a computer for 10, 12, 13, 14 hours almost every single day till you, you know, hire a team and you have salespeople fulfilling all, you know, all the things that you're doing right now. But you're going to have to put in the work in the beginning. So do you enjoy all these things? Then if you do, then go ahead and start a social media marketing agency and, you know, make it successful. Another thing is now is your knowledge, right? So, you know, a lot of people will come into this space thinking that, you know, it's very simple, right? Like all you do is, you know, get some clients, put up some ads and, you know, you, you start making money, right? So there is going to be, especially if you're not already in the online marketing space, you don't know how to, you know, use, for example, you know, you don't know how to use Excel or you don't know how to do use Google Sheets or you simply don't know how to use a computer, then there is going to be a much longer and, you know, a more painful learning curve for you because, you know, not only that you have to learn how to do social media marketing, but you also have to learn how to use some of the tools and how to use a computer in general because, uh, you know, a lot of people have not used a computer in a very long time. I haven't used it in a long time, but when I started going into it, I started learning all these things and all this stuff. And there are a lot of things that will 
you know, come into your mind where you're just not able to figure it out, right? Like, for example, when I was starting out, I had an online store and, you know, there's small, small things that I couldn't figure out. Like, hey, when the lead comes, how can I transfer it over to this platform over here? And there's tools, there's all these stuff out there already made for you, but you have to find it. For example, Zapier. I found Zapier after struggling so hard to get my contacts from ClickFunnels to another kind of software where I can send emails and text messages from. It was really hard, but I finally figured out that you can use something called Zapier to zap it together and get that to happen, right? So, you know, those are some of the things that you have to think about when you're going into social media marketing because, you know, not only that you have to learn social media marketing, but you have to learn how to use tools inside of everything. You know, this is not to disencourage you to start your social media marketing agency or continue with your social media marketing agency. It's just so that you know when you do get into it, there's gonna be a lot more things that you have to learn other than just putting up ads. So aside from you know learning social media marketing, learning how to use all the tools and everything, you also need to learn communication skills because you're gonna be working with clients. You're gonna know you gotta know how to sell. You gotta know how to communicate with these clients so they can you know actually become your client so they can act, start paying you. Well, you know, in the beginning when I started this, I was a little bit of an introvert, right? Like I, I'm, I still think I'm an introvert, even though introvert however you say it, you know i'm not out there you know having conversations and that's kind of my thing right like i i, I actually like staying quiet i like staying at home I, I like doing activities but i don't like being around a lot of people and everything right i'm slowly trying to try trying to change that i'm much better than what it, what it was before i could barely talk to you know a server that was trying to serve us at a restaurant now you know i can have good conversations and everything but you know it was just something that I was scared with in the beginning right and my business all it required was for me to talk to new people right talk to strangers and you know when I hop on sales meeting now like it's, it's like a piece of cake right it doesn't feel like anything it just feels like oh this, you know here's another sales meeting but in the beginning it was super hard for me to communicate and it was super hard for me to you know even talk to clients and I would you know start sweating and I would get nervous and all these different things and you know it was my learning curve right that was where that was where I was gonna learn how to communicate with my clients how I, I, I was gonna learn how to sell and all these different things right um, a really good book on selling and communicating and you know just in general building relationships with people is a really good book called how to win friends and influence people that book completely changed my perspective of how I should be communicating with other people, what their needs and wants are, and you know, especially if you're trying to get other people to be on your side, it's an awesome book to read. So I, I highly recommend you guys go read that book. And read books in general, you know, just to point out there because you're gonna learn some new ideas from books where you can instantly apply in your agency life, right? Just like how that one book I started applying some of those things and you know my sales calls started turning and I started getting more people say yes to me and all these different things right so when you go in there you know it's gonna be uncomfortable you're gonna have a little bit of you know you're gonna be nervous you're gonna trip over your words and all, everything in between when you hop on your first few sales call meetings but as time goes by as you hop on more meetings and as you have more experience you're gonna be better overall and that's the beauty about you know any kind of business that you open especially you know social media marketing because you're literally you're you're, you're literally doing the most Im most important thing and the thing that everyone else does in the world and that and that is marketing and sales a politician right a, po a politician is not just a politician he's a marketer he has to he has to market himself enough and he's a salesman and he has to sell the other the, all the other people all the other you know residents of the country to you know sell them on them voting for him right so for example if you're in the united states biden had to sell everyone i not I'm, i don't want to get into politics or anything but biden had to sell everyone that hey i am your president and <clears throat> you should vote for me right and that is a sell right a sale had to be made and that goes with everything in your life so for example if you want to convince your wife that you want to get a new camera for example 
you have to sell her on that idea right so everything is sales and marketing so if you learn this one skill of selling and marketing it doesn't matter what business you open you open up a yoga studio you open up a boxing gym you open up an e-commerce store and if you know sales and marketing you will 100% succeed in that business because of the past knowledge that you have so for example when i you know started in the online space i had you know an online store that i couldn't get sales for but i know and i have enough confidence now that if i where to open that store back up again, or any kind of e-commerce store, I know I can bring in new sales into that business. And the reason I'm able to do that is because I have gained that skill set of sales and marketing. I know exactly how to market. I know how to write copy. I know how to write, um, I know what customers are thinking online. I know why they won't buy, right? Because you start to predict these things as you get more experience in your field, right? You start to pre predict things. Even in sales meeting, you'll predict, hey, is this person gonna close? Is this per person gonna say yes? Just because you have so much you know, experience in that, you know exactly what's gonna happen. So, you know, those are some things and some points that I wanted to make in this video. If you guys, you know, have some questions that you want answered and you've been struggling with this one thing where, like, hey, so can you please tell us about this? then I want you to leave a comment below and let me know what you guys need help with. Because to be honest, I put out almost every video on my YouTube channel possible of the ideas that I could think about and the most helpful topic, helpful topics. And if there's you know more things that you wanna learn about, then leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to make that video for you. And again, you know, I only make a video on things that I have experience about. If I haven't done that same thing, I'm not going to go on YouTube and make a video about it when I, ha when I haven't even done it myself, right? So that's why some of the videos, like some people request, like how to hire, you know, a media manager for your agency. I haven't hired one yet. I have an in-house person that's, you know, started from me kind of pretty much when I started my agency, you know. I was kind of on and off my agency before, but when I came full time, he came full time as well. So he's kind of been there and doing everything. I just friend recommended me me him and I and I hired him, right? So, so that's kind of how that happened. But if you have a video in mind, drop a comment below, and I'm more than happy to answer those questions for you. Awesome, guys. So you know, I don't really care how this video was gonna rank, but this is the video that I wanted to just tell you guys my honest opinion and kind of everything that I wish I knew when I started my agency, right? I wish that someone told me that, hey, you know, there's gonna be a lot more things that you gotta learn inside your social media marketing agency, but just know that this is the learning curve, right? Like, that's what I want you guys to remember. When you do something for the first time, it is going to be hard. But as you do more of it, it will get easier and easier. And, you know, to help with that, just read some books on personal development, read some books around habits, read books around business, just just read because you need more, more knowledge. And more importantly, you gotta implement that knowledge because if you just gain a lot of knowledge and you don't implement any of that stuff, and I know a lot of people that do that, it's not gonna help you. So learn the knowledge, implement it, you know, grow your business, take care of your family, and, you know, make a lot of money. People don't. People say money doesn't bring you happiness. Those people haven't made enough and haven't given enough to the family, the friends, to the people that actually need it, right? So go out there, crush your day, make some money, take care of everyone around you, and I will see you on the next one.